Hey everybody, welcome back to Brandon's Ballistics. I'm your host, Brandon Barker, and today we've got Ollie Bear again, because I started the camera, started talking, so of course he jumps up here. Uh, I guess he wants to be the new logo. If I can, if I know how to do that, that's something I do plan on doing, is uh, changing my logo to have my own cats uh, be my logo. Especially Bella, my oldest, uh, even though he's a showboat. I'm sure Bella will probably be up here eventually, too. Uh, but yeah, I need this space, Bubby. I need this space. <laughs> we got Battle Box today. And this is the May Battle Box. And I do know some of what is inside of it. And some of which I liked. Uh, or uh, some of which I know I'm going to like. And some of which I know I'm going to go mad. And some of which, you know, uh, just not very exciting. So, I don't know, uh. If I knew in advance what this box was, I probably would have skipped it, uh, to, to be completely honest. But that's just based on what I saw in the email, because I, you know, it, I saw a spoiler email and I couldn't not click on it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this box and uh, see exactly what's in it. Okay, so this is Mission uh, 111. Uh, of course, I don't have themes anymore. Uh, it gives the same mission statements, you know, yada, 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 the same as uh, Hollow 13 key. A little, you know, quick glance at the uh, mission. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start with the uh, basic box. In the basic box, we have three items. Uh, the first one's going to be a book. Uh, prepare for anything survival manual. So, uh, this is something I do actually like. Uh, of course, I've not read it. Uh, it's a big book. So, and it's, you know, it has full pictures. So, I'm assuming this will have good information. I'm assuming. I don't know. Uh, if people want want me to, I will do a more uh, full review of it. Yeah. Um, I see this as a you know, pretty good thing. The uh, book back here says it has a value of tw uh, $29 US or $29 Canada. Or twenty nine ninety nine Canada, so uh, I guess it's slightly cheaper in Canada. Maybe it's made in Canada, because uh, I'm pretty sure the conversion for Canadian is less than just a dollar per. You know, like yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put this in love. It. It's uh, you know, it's a good quality book. It's not one of those things that looks like it's made out of, out of printer paper. Uh, the pages are nice quality, the printing's nice, and it seems like the information's good. So, uh, yeah. Uh, when I first saw this in that uh, hint email, it looked like a very thin manual. So, I had a very negative view of that at first. Now I have it in my hand, I see how thick it is, and it's good quality. It's not like the last survival thing we had that was very crappy. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put this in love it. So, love it right there. Next, uh, Flitz Renewal System. So, here we have a uh, Flitz Renewal System that protects and cleans, uh, I guess it's gun sealant, metal, plastic, fiberglass polish, thick and thirsty microfiber cloth. Uh, I mean, Flitz is good. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's one of the better polishes out there, especially if, if you're firearms already rusty or whatever and you need to bring it back uh i don't have anything against flitz it flitz is good just I, I usually don't let my stuff get that bad to need flitz uh of course you can use flitz on more than just firearms uh anything metal plastic fiberglass uh plastics paint you know it, but if i wanted flitz i'd go to walmart lowe's you know Amazon. <laughs> uh, it's good, so I can't put it in don't like it. Or hate it. Can't do one of those. It's a meh. Uh, just not something I really want in a battle box. Uh, that's just me. You know, let me know your thoughts. Uh... Just uh, real fast to give it, I'll read it. Uh, let's start with the uh, 
liquid polish, the ultimate multi-service polish that ever ever restores to shine, uh, metals, plastics, paints, and more. It's a breeze to apply, leaving a wax finish for prolonged shine. Next is the ceramic gun and knife sealant, which you can use to enhance the longevity of your fine arms and blades. Um, offers nano ceramic hydrophobic coating that lasts up to a year. It protects against moisture damage without sacrificing performance. So upgrade your maintenance game with the flitch renewal system and show your fire arms and blades from good TLC. So I guess if you're already not good at keeping up with your stuff, it will make it to where they'll last longer before you're like, oh crap, I really, really need to, you know, do something. <laughs> uh, next, we got uh, wound closing system. Wow, I thought this was going to be something different. Wow. Um, don't know how I feel about this one. It's by my medic, so I guess it's good. Uh, but all this is is some skin glue and uh, little band-aids. Uh, wound closing strips, band-aid, and whatever. Uh, okay, so this is a mod, so it's something to add to an existing kit. But, I mean, I guess... I hate putting first aid kit stuff in map, but I just don't. One, if you have a wound that's gushing blood, you can't use this. Uh, so you got to stop the bleeding first. So you got to, you know, that's after you put pressure on it, that's after you've uh, got the bleeding to stop, and then it's, you know, it's there and you need it to close, then you're gonna add stuff on there. So, so it's, it's more, it's not something you're gonna be using right at the moment something you use after the, ble the bleeding stops of course i guess to help you get somewhere but if the bleeding's already stopped we'll leave the bandage on i guess this is if you're far away from help uh, or if the wound's just not bad enough to need stitches uh or if it is bad enough to need stitches but you're far far away from help uh meh Uh, most first aid kits already have stuff like that, like most more than basic ones. Uh, but even so, it's rare you're going to use that. Uh, most of the time, if you need to close a wound that's pretty bad, it's either one gushing blood, so you got to put a pressure bandage on it first to stop the blood. Two, if it's that bad, you're going straight to the hospital with the pr pressure bandage on, so you never get to the point that you need that. Three, if you're out in the woods or somewhere where you can't get help. Bleeding stop. It's usually, you know, I guess if you're changing the bandages, uh, you know, to keep them clean, uh, then I guess it'd be all right to do that. But you got to re-clean the wound to make sure you don't trap anything underneath that skin. So you have to be proficient in self, you know, in first aid to be able to know when to use that in the first place. Or it can get you into more trouble than what you was in. Uh, you can do more harm to yourself than good if you don't know what you're doing. So... Just keep that in mind. Uh, I'm definitely not sufficient enough in first aid to where, you know, I, I, I know enough to get me by, but I would definitely like to know more. I know enough to know I don't know a lot. I, I'll say I'll say it like that. <laughs> there, there's one more in the basic box. There's four items. And the last basic box item is the Ruck and River Spice Wallet. Like I said, it doesn't get too much better from here. So, Ruck and, Ruck and River, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Battlebox is the owner of Ruck and River. So, this is a basically owned by Battlebox. Feels like real leather. Pretty sure that's real leather. Uh, then you have these little things in here that, uh, you yeah, know, little containers for spice. Uh, oh. I guess I'm like if I go camping I there's never a time that I've needed this much different spices uh, 
like, of course, I, I've never went a month's worth of camping. Uh, I think the longest I've went before was two weeks. Uh, usually it's just a week. Uh, actually, in the last few times I went camping, it was just three days. <laughs> uh, but when I was younger, it was, you know, a week. But, you know, we never needed a spice wallet once. Uh, I mean, when we cooked, we had stuff to add spices with, but, you know, you don't need to bring a crap ton with you. Uh, I guess in a survival situation, but in a survival situation, this is more of a luxury item. Are you really going to add the weight? Uh, I mean, this doesn't add a whole lot of weight. Of course, the spices are not in this yet. Uh, which I'm sure if you're chowing down on a raw squirrel, uh, well, not raw, hopefully you cooked it, but, uh, unseasoned squirrel or unseasoned rat you're gonna wish you had some uh some spices some salt some pepper and some uh different seasonings but i don't know i just don't see this ever being useful uh let me know in the comments below uh what y'all think i gotta put this and don't like it for now uh i just don't ever see this being useful let me know how wrong i am because I'm sure somebody will. Uh, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, if if there's ever something that I think is crappy and, you know, as my series, was I wrong that I started? I've been wrong about items before. Uh, so I'm definitely not saying that I'm completely right that this is useless. Well, borderline useless. Uh, you know, I guess it's a good clamp, you know, glamping accessory, but if you're glamping, you probably have, you know, stuff in your barbecue kit. <laughs> uh... Yeah, there's a. If you're already taking. If you're already thinking about spices, you already have other kits that has all that stuff. I just don't see this ever being good. Uh, don't like it. Uh, it's. It's not gonna be a hate it. Oh. <sighs> Bellbo wanted to come say hi. She's meowing at me. Bellbo wanted to say hi. Oh, honey. I don't know if you could hear her yelling at me or not. Yeah, that's my baby girl. You see how much better she's looking? That's what, uh, you know, we give her fluid uh, once. Yeah, at least every other day, if not once a day. Uh, of course, keeping up with her glucose. Uh, keep You know, we're giving her special food. Making sure she's eating. She's no longer on the hunger stim stimulant, which is great. Uh, she seems like she's doing a lot better. She's still technically in kidney failure. Uh, we need to get her enzymes rechecked to make sure she's not... Uh, one of her levels is in kidney failure. She, to, technically, to be back in kidney failure, both the, of the levels have to be high. Uh, we've got one of them underneath the threshold of kidney failure. The other one's still in threshold, but as long as we get the other one out, it won't progress. Uh, we're needing to get that rechecked. Uh, but yeah, she's, uh, she's gaining some weight back. She's 8.6. Big change from six pounds. <laughs> All right. I won't make you move. You're my baby. But I got to continue the video. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, let me know what y'all think about the Spice Wallet. I just, you know, I can't put it in a, in a hate it. It's, I'm close to putting it in a hate it. Uh, I'm just going to leave it and don't like it. So, you got four items in the basic box. Uh, one, don't like it. Two, maz. And one, love it. So, at least you had one, love it. If you only got the basic box. Now, the next item is a pretty good item. And that is the Puri Bag Pro System. Now, I guess what I'll do is show this. So yeah, it's a water filtering system. So you got your bag, you put water in, and then that goes through your, uh, you know, filter there. Or do I have, or am I thinking that backwards? For now. Uh, so if, if I'm thinking about this system correctly, you fill this up with whatever crap, 
Uh, of course, you have that little tie down there. Uh, you then put the uh, packet in there, shake it up real good uh, to you know mix it around. Then you wait until everything settles down the bottom. You then release all the gunk out the bottom to lead the good water, and then you attach your filter here, and then uh, then filter out the rest of the water through this filter. So. This is an amazing item to have, especially if you don't have any filtering system at all. And this allows you to filter a lot of water at once. So, very, very nice to have. Uh, that's a definite love it. I'm not even going to take it out of this. This is going to go straight into a uh, kit. So, this is uh, definitely worth the money. That's, uh, that's a decently expensive item. Uh, any water filtration system is. But yeah, this comes with a Sawyer uh, mini filter, uh, of course, with the tube. It comes with the bag, and it comes with, uh, I'm guessing, 10 of those, uh, you know, bags there. Uh, water, PNG uh, water systems, things. Yeah. So, it takes, I guess you'll see Bella for a second. Uh, the Pure Bag takes mobile outdoor water treatment and purification to the next level. Capable of creating nearly any fresh water source you encounter to bottled water clarity in as little as 30 minutes, the Pro System builds on all benefits of the Puri Bank and levels up your protection and flexibility with the inclusion of a hollow fiber membrane filter straw designed to simply plug into the Puri Bag tap filament or uh, yeah, fitment uh, after the soft flexible tap is removed. The Pro System includes the useful life of the Pure Bag up to 5,000 liters, depending on water turbility, and is effective at removing 99.9999 of bacteria, 99.99 uh, viruses, and 99.9 .9 of protozoans, or protozoa. You can use the Pure Bag and the membrane filter together, or you can use each on their own as the situation dictates. Uh, the membrane filter straw can also be attached to most 28 millimeter threaded water bottles as a drink through filter. So yeah, uh, you know, let's say you had some water. I didn't even think about that. So uh, let's say you had some, you brought some water bottles with you. You drunk all your water bottles. You didn't throw them away because you don't litter. You're not trash. You're not like that. Plus those items are useful. Uh, well, you can fill those back up with water. Let's say you don't have any of these uh, PNG things and all you have is your saw your straw. Well, you can uh, you know, push that down into your uh, water bottle and then use this as a straw. Uh, as you suck it up, so it'll go through your filter and come out clean. So, very, very nice. Uh, to be completely honest, I only have a uh, one of these in my current system. I also have a, uh, in a previous battle box, we got one of those presses, uh, you know, water filters. I also have that in a different kit, but uh, this is gonna go to my main kit. Uh, I I'm a huge, huge fan of this. Uh, I can't say enough how much I love that. And here's the next item. Yeah, next item is also I love it. Sadly, I already have multiple of these. Uh, we get my favorite flashlight. So, originally, we got this in a tack pack. That's when I was first introduced to this. And I absolutely loved it. This is the E9R by PowerTac. E9R-G4. Uh, very powerful. Uh, magnetic charging. A micro USB, uh, you know, rechargeable as well. Her ba balance of EDC and tactical light. I carry this with me every single day. I have this on my, uh, my Home Defense AR, actually. Uh, as well, it's on my side right now. So, uh, as you see, it's... Uh, you know, it's it's been been with me through it. Uh, it's it's dirty right now because uh, I had an incident on my home yesterday because uh, I had my tires taken off at Sam's Club in Southridge, West Virginia, and they apparently didn't go to Lug Nut Day because my driver's side rear tire fell off. Yes, fell off. And my other rear passenger side tire was loose. To beat all that, uh, I was trying to get tires there, which it should have been. I, I should have put the pieces together, but they couldn't get one of the lug nuts off. And which, because uh, they said it was it was stripped, you know, uh, they're, it wasn't powerful enough to take it off. But then when I got home, we was able to take a battery-powered impact 
they had they're, they're supposed to be using uh, air powered. I use a battery powered. Uh, well, correct, from Michael did uh, impact and took it off. Easy, like there was no struggle. That should be my clue that they're using underpowered crap or whatever. I, I don't know. I, well, he was using something incorrectly, and uh, yeah. Off. Oh, that was very. It was not fun. Uh, anyway. Uh, this thing is very nice to have. It has four different levels if it's fully charged up. Let me get it down to, uh, so you have your night light level, uh, which is, you know, pretty good for if it's, if it's dark outside. You have your low, uh, it might tell me the lumen level, uh, so your, your firefly is 0.64 lumens. Your low here is 71 lumens, which, uh, I, let me start over. So here at your Firefly, that is 0.64 lumens. That will last you 50 days. That is if you are using the uh, the rechargeable battery that they give you, the uh, 18650 3.6 volt uh, high discharge rechargeable battery. Now you can also use two CR123A batteries. Those are three uh, three volts. You'll get a little bit less lumens and a little bit less. Uh, you, know, you won't you won't go to turbo sadly, um, and it won't last quite as long. But you do have that option. But yeah, uh, your Firefly both gives you uh, 64, 0.64 lumens uh, with the good battery it gives you fifty days. With the uh, the two CR batteries, it gives you forty eight days of life. Your low, which uh, I like this, it is back pressed, and then you can change your modes here. Uh, your low gives you 71 lumens at 20.9 hours. I'm just going to give you the, the, the battery life that comes with the flashlight. Your medium, even brighter, that's medium. That's uh, 270 lumens. That gives you 5.7 hours. Your high gives you 1,135 lumens for 2.11 hours. And turbo... <laughs> crazy bright uh, is 2,550 lumens and will give you a battery life of 2.2 hours now another reason I really love this especially for firearms uh, when you have this mounted you can take the clip off of course but when you have this mounted you can have it to where when you're using your C grip uh, your, your thumb rests on top of this because you press that button strobe alert strobe alert if you press that button, it strobes. So it automatically goes to strobe. And it strobes at the level, uh, at the uh, 790 lumen level. So extremely, extremely bright. Uh, I love this thing a lot. This is my favorite EDC flashlight. Uh, the charge is awesome. It just magnetically clips there. But if for some reason you don't have that, you can take that off. And below that has a micro USB uh, charging port. So you have that option as well, just in case you, uh, you know, forget your charger at home and need to use a standard charger. Uh, yeah, th uh, this thing is amazing. Uh, if for any reason you have it, uh, when you get this, it probably will not go in turbo immediately. You need to charge it first. Uh, but if you charge it and it still doesn't go, then, you know, uh, you may have to send it back. Uh, but their customer service is amazing. Uh, I absolutely love this stuff. Now, it comes with, uh, oh crap, I'm about to take it out of the package, ain't I? Uh, let us get this one. It comes with this really nice belt clip. So your flashlight is always available right here. Uh, it's very easy to be able to take in and out of. And yeah, you always have this on your side. Now that's, that's if you like carrying it that way, 
Uh, if you don't like carrying it that way, you can carry it in your pocket. You can carry uh, any other amount that you like. Uh, this is just the one it comes with. Uh, there's a couple of optional accessories that you can buy. Uh, now, I, I don't have any of these, but uh, you can buy some different filters for it. You can buy a, uh, uh, a rifle mount. I do have one of these, but it's not the one that, that's actually made for it. Uh, it was just a one that does any flashlight, and it worked just as good. Uh, and then you can also get one of these remote switches, but I never really liked the remote switches, honestly. I always found them finicky. And since this is, you know, back pressed or, uh, or pressed right here at the side for your flash, I didn't really see the need, especially if you use a C grip. Uh, if, if you're using a 90 degree foregrip, you'll probably need this. But if you're using a C grip, uh, I, I don't see any need for that. Uh, me personally, I, but that's just me. Uh, I just haven't had much luck with pressure switches. Uh, that's also a love it item. Uh, like I said, that's my favorite flashlight of all time. The reason that I was like, yeah, if I knew I probably would have skipped is cause uh, this makes my third. Always a welcome. You know, I can use the third. Uh, it's just going to, uh, so now I have one I carry on me at all times. I have one that's on my uh, EDC you know, rifle. Uh, and I'm either gonna put this on my uh, AR-10, or this is going to be the uh, flashlight that replaces the flashlight that stays next to my front door at all times. One or the other, I'm not for sure which. But it's probably going to replace the one that stands next to my door. Because I really doubt that I'm going to grab my AR-10 at a moment's notice and not my AR-15. So this is probably going to be my new uh, thing that is right next to my door. Alright. Now, uh... That's our Pro Box. So if you got the Pro, you have three Lovets, two Maz, and one don't like it. Now our Pro Plus. It's a Condor, and I've heard a lot of good things about Condor knives. Another cool item here. Once again, uh, I guess I'm showing this off since I can. I couldn't show, show this off in my live stream, but yeah, this is the Free Normans FG15. I have a video on this already. Uh, this is the AR, uh, this is a pistol grip that has a crank trigger handle in it so you can fire like a Gatling gun on your AR. So awesome. I have a video, uh, I, I don't know how to link in the videos here yet, but I'll link it in the, uh, description and doobly-doo. Uh, check that out. But this one was sent, uh, so they sent, uh, the one to the, one to me for free to do a review on, which was very awesome of them. Uh, in that video, my cousin Chris was in it, and he was talking about how much he loved it, and they sent him one as well. Uh, so, huge thank you uh, to Freedom Ornaments for doing that. Uh, as Chris was saying, you know, I, I said this is a great option for my Corporal Tunnel, because uh, I love binary firearms, but as people see in my range days, or when I do the New Year's videos, when I'm shooting a lot of binary guys, my hand starts drawing up and stuff because I have Corporal Tunnel. This is an amazing option. I love this thing so much because <laughs> I can still shoot and um, you know shoot at a decent rate of fire, uh, which is not it's not meant to make you fire faster. I get, you know you can still fire extremely accurately, and uh, it, it's actually extremely easy to use. Uh, but yeah, you can easily switch between shooting regular or if your hand starts cramping up or for whatever reason, you can then push that out and fire crank. You don't even have to go in a circle. You can just go back and forth like this. And fire it is extremely nice uh chris is also uh, pretty you know he's more noticeably hand, uh, handicapped he's, instead of i just have carpal tunnel and a few other things he's has uh mo you know actual mobility issues uh, but yeah this also made things a lot easier for him so yeah free ornaments sent him one so uh thank you once again for the ornaments for sending him that and sending me one uh <laughs> this has definitely made a big notice, big noticeable difference on my AR, and I'll be putting this on his AR soon. All right, back to the knife. Sorry, uh, that was just there. And during the live stream when I gave it to Chris, I wasn't able to give a proper thank you because uh, YouTube took down my live stream before when I showed a pistol barrel. Just a barrel. Uh, I may even have it here on the table still yet somewhere. Uh, this is a Glock barrel. No slide, no nothing. Just a barrel. And they took down my string for showing firearms. So, I didn't know what they'd do for a pistol grip. So, I heard you took it off string. 
Anyway, so we have a uh, certificate, a 20th anniversary uh, commemorative knife. Uh, this is a SIP knife, limited edition. Uh, has been reproduced from high quality materials in the occasion of the 20th anniversary of Condor Knife and Tool. Inspired by the Mayan legend of the uh, Sip Kiv, I'm probably saying that real wrong, or the magical king of the deer. Uh, ancestor. Ancestor? No, it's not ancestor. In ancestor? I don't know. Uh, ancestor. Uh, we're. I'm from, I'm from West Virginia. you got to look over my ability not to speak good English. Uh, I speak redneck and uh, hillbilly and stutter. I speak redneck and stutter real good, a little bit of hillbilly. Um, but, yeah. Uh, he's a go-between between, between the gods and humans and a supernatural protector of the animals, especially deer that were victims of excessive hunting by indigenous people threatening the extinction of these uh, sacred animal. So, yeah. Uh, take a look at the knife. Actually, I guess first, let's take a look at the sheath. So, of course, we got the whoop, condor sticker. Uh, a warning that it is carbon steel and will rust. Uh, of course, we got the condor packet to be able to see what other things they sell. I'd love to be able to get some of these swords from condor. Uh, yeah, that would be so... I, Condor makes some awesome stuff. Like I, uh, I have their uh, previously battle box in this. There, oh, I actually have that. Uh, where did I put it? I just recently took it out uh, on a my major hunt. Uh, this is a previous thing we got from Condor. Uh, this is a Condor machete uh, from El Salvador. Uh, yeah, this thing is amazing. I, this is my favorite machete currently. Uh, at least I just recently took this out, mine with your hunting, and it works like a charm. Definitely knows what they're doing when they're making machetes, so I would love to be able to get some of these swords from them. Uh, I'd be so pretty. It'd be awesome if they'd send one to me for review. Uh, <laughs> they got a lot of cool stuff in here. Uh, just, yeah, if you got this, uh, just check check some of this stuff out. Uh, they, you know, they have some crazy designs in here. Uh, some of them that may not be as functional, and some of them that's really functional. I'd love to get some of their axes, too. Something I can actually use. Don't stuff down. What you don't do that? But yeah, check out their catalog. It's awesome. Now, Ollie! So, you know, we'll take a look first at their sheath. And of course, uh, it's what you would expect. Uh, made in El Salvador. Uh, real leather. Uh, just as nice as their machete sheath and then of course we got the carbon steel blade what you would expect very comfortable handle a little bit of uh jimping up here pretty sure that's uh, using the right words just jimping how to be able to make sure your finger don't slip extremely feels like it's gonna be extremely sharp so i don't want to cut the certificate up i don't want to cut my logo up so let's see oh yeah just uh, butter, so it's it's as sharp as you want a knife. Uh, I'm sure, it's going to be shaped. Yeah, easily shaving sharp. So this is finished extremely well. The bevels are matching. Apexed is it's perfectly apexed, which of course it is, or else it wouldn't be as sharp. Uh, but yeah. Very, very nice knife. And believe it or not, this thing's only like 80 bucks. Uh, crazily enough. Uh, the steel is uh, SAE 1095. So, I don't know what the difference between 1090, regular 1095 steel is and SAE 1095. So, like normally when I think 1095, I don't think high quality steel. But this is high carbon. I don't know. I have to look that up. I didn't think 1095. Uh, I mean, 1095 isn't is a low quality, but it's uh, it's not one of the super steels that you see a lot in you know extremely high quality knives. And again, this gotta keep in mind this isn't a tack pack. This isn't one of those you know three hundred dollars knife tack pack. This is a eighty dollar knife. So uh, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, 
it's made good. It's full tank. Let's go ahead and read a little bit about it. Uh, now that I have the pleasure of wrangling with this beauty, let me tell you all it's a real keeper. Exclusively cra crafted for BattleBox subscribers. Each blade has its own serial number. My serial number is 4295, making it one of a kind. The knife boasts a walnut handle that fits like a glove and a leather sheath. Well, that's part of the exclusive deal, too. They really went out of the way with a limited edition, celebrating the 20th anniversary in style. Getting down to the nitty-gritty. Uh, it is a fixed blade, full tang for durability. Jipping on the back blade, you can improve control for those precise cuts. Uh, blue materials, SAE 1095, as tough as they come. Size matter donut. It has an overall length of 9 inches uh, with the blade length of 4.5. So, uh, most guys will say they... Uh, familiar with the, you know, they're like, oh yeah, that's definitely around nine inches. You know, I'm familiar with that one. You know, a lot of times they're more familiar with the 4.5. Uh, or if it's cold outside, sometimes it's you know, a little smaller. <laughs> uh, uh, where was I? Uh, perfect for all your bushcraft needs. Don't forget the classic, uh, condor leather sheath, complete with a belt loop for easy access. Plus, there's even a lanyard hole in the handle. You can keep this beauty close at hand, so if you're looking for a trusty sidekick for all your adventures, the Condor Sip Knife Limited Edition is for you. Uh, yeah, this is a extremely, uh, this is this would be welcome in the kitchen or on the trail. Uh, if you have some of that uh, Wicked Wax, this would definitely be a good blade to uh, use that Wicked Wax on. Uh be able to get it protected but yeah it's it's not real heavy uh, a lot of high quality knives are you know extremely heavy but especially for a walnut handle it's uh pretty light the balance is definitely uh you know right there as you can kind of see uh it does feel a little tip heavy but you would kind of expect that since you know there's a lot of blades just you know sticking out and the walnut handle is not you know Overly heavy. Uh, you got some brass rivets keeping it together. Yeah, this is a uh, nice knife to go into the collection. See how it fits in the sheath. Nice and tight. There we go. So just like with the machete, uh, a real tight fit. Fits deep in there. Uh, easy to get out. It did, you know, just like with machete, it seems to want to cut the sheath a little bit uh, I guess you know getting it fit in there but I do like how it goes deep in there I would prefer if I was quite honest th that deep where I can get a full hand length on it and take it out so preferably I'd want it to be right there make it a lot easier to get it in and out but this goes all the way down in there so, what I originally said was, oh, okay, that's kind of cool, it goes that deep. <sighs> that gives you two fingers to pull it out whenever it's fully there. Which you can. Uh, just, you know. I guess you can just not push it all the way down. Yeah. Gives you two fingers to pull out. Uh, I think the sheath should have been like down here. That's just me. You know, I, I'm not a knife expert. Maybe there's a reason. Uh, it is a good fit. The uh, the shape of this handle, you know, kind of wedged out. It starts smaller and it gets fatter as the blade goes back, which uh, allows it to you know wedge in there. You don't have to push it all the way down. Uh, that's if I if I carry it, that's probably about as much as I'll do with it or if i'm doing a lot of hiking i will push it further down probably just to right there because it's not going to go anywhere right there uh, so i'll probably never actually take it fully down uh you can you can take it fully down if you want to but it's just going to make it harder to get out but i guess if you're running jumping climbing and it might be useful but if it's going to be something i'm using a lot i'd probably just take it down that much uh yeah it's a little bit easier to get out you still ain't going to shake it out uh unless you're doing some you know, a lot more active stuff, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's a good knife, uh, yeah, got a nice little belt loop there, 
Uh, it doesn't tickle my fancy. I mean, I hate to not put this in love it. It is nice. The sheath is nice. It's high carbon of steel. It's finished amazing. The handle is done perfectly. I feel no... Uh, yeah, I can't put this anywhere but love it. Yeah, it, 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 I'm not drooling over the knife. But I can't argue with quality. Uh, everything... I, I can't find a flaw... In this knife. And I'm actively looking for one. Ah, there's a flaw. Ah, I can't believe this. That's not, that hole's not completely centered. It's, it's a little tiny bit off. It needs to, it should have been a little further up that way. By like a millimeter. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't give any negative things about this knife, really. Uh, except the sheath. Uh, I'm not a fan of how deep the knife goes into the sheath. But that can be fixed. Uh, or you can just not push it all the way down. You can just do like that. I mean, yeah, that leaves uh, some wiggle room down here. I doubt it's going to be enough to break that tip off. I mean, you know, it's a pretty thick piece of steel. So it st should still be good. So, yeah. Uh, it's going to be another love it. So, the box I was talking about skipping, and uh, honestly, I guess it's good I didn't. Uh, I would have ended up missing out on it. I'd have missed out on my favorite flashlight. I was thinking, yeah, I already have two, I don't need another one, but I could actually make this to, I could put this on my AR-10, or one of my other fires, put it on my CC Scorpion if I wanted to, uh, or one of my many, many other ones. Uh, but this is probably going to be my, uh, my new flashlight. It's going to be beside the, you know, beside the front door or the other door. And then you beside one of them. That's where I always have a really, really good bright flashlight if I need it. Love the book. Absolutely love uh, this pure bag system. The knife is, is you know, pretty great. Uh, it's just the, uh, the basic box that was, you know, not very good. And, you know, what can you expect? It's the basic box. So, am I missing an item? I thought there was four items there. Okay, that's right. The book is one of them. So, uh, but even with the basic, uh, even with the basic box, there was one item that was extremely good. So, you know, honestly, I can't say too much bad about this box. I I went into it negative, and I came out with a positive outlook. But yeah, let me know what you think. I have uh, four love it's. Uh, two mans and one don't like it. Uh, which means this is can you know go? This definitely uh, can go up for or was I wrong? Uh, video. So let me know in the comments below uh, if you think I'm wrong. Uh, I, I would say be respectful, but you know this is the internet, so a lot of people don't know how to do that. I will say a lot. Most of my subscribers are extremely uh, respectful, so thank y'all very much. Y'all are awesome. There's only a few people that's been very uh, disrespectful in the past, but uh, they're they're not actual people that comment a lot. They're just people that come across the video, usually one of my older videos, say some negative things, then move on. So uh, you know, it, it, if they wanted to spend their life being hateful, they can do that. But yeah, let me know what y'all think. Uh, if I'm wrong, if this is somehow actually really useful, and I'm just not thinking about it. Uh, I, I guess if you are a Colombian drug lord, you can keep your drugs in there. You know, Saturday night, the Saturday night, night life. Ah, Saturday night live skit. You can keep your drugs in there. <laughs> uh, so the foot stuff is good, just it's not what I want in the battle box. Uh, and the wound sealer, if you're not careful, you can do more harm than good. And it's just not many situations you're going to actually use that. I mean, I guess for a, you know, if you want to put it in to this tack pack kit, and you know, we got this in a previous tack pack, this is just a scrape kit, you know, for uh, you know very common stuff. You put this in there because yeah, if you cut your finger on a knife after it starts bleeding, you know, it's still you know it can move or whatever. That would be good to put in this, which this is a mod, so uh, I'll probably put 
uh, this mod in this uh, pack here. That's probably what I'll do. But this was an attack pack, so that doesn't count. But yeah, let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Code word's going to be Condor. C-O-N-D-O-R. Um, obvious reasons should be obvious. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.